So let's take a look at some of the strategies we can use to actually find these limits. So the first strategy is just to plug in the number. And that worked for our first function right here, x squared. It also worked for our second one. Even though this function had a hole, when we plugged in 2, it gave us a number. So plug in, a, plug in the number. That's all you have to do. If it's defined and you get a number, then you're done. That would mean that it's continuous at that point. So I should add that at that point. So if your function value is defined, so as x approaches 2, we plug in 2, it works out just fine. Here we plug in 2, works out just fine. Then that means that we actually have a continuous function at that point. Doesn't always work out that nicely. So if you have 0 on the top and bottom, which is what happened over here, then you might have to try factoring. See if something cancels out. That's exactly what happened with this, with this problem. If it does, it's a hole. Holes are great because limits don't care what's happening at the point, only what's happening 